Hey everyone, I am Stephanie Tate, the Student Support Coordinator here at William Peace University in the Division of Student Life, and I'm joined today by Ryan Webb, so I'll go ahead and let him introduce himself, and then we'll get started with 21 questions. Hey y'all, my name is Ryan Webb. I serve as the Associate Director here at Peace for Residence Life and Housing. Okay, Ryan, can you tell us one funny fact about yourself? Hmm. So I think um, a funny, I don't know about a funny fact. Um, let's see. It can be random. Yeah. So um, when I was in the fifth grade um, playing tag, I ran into an oak tree and knocked myself unconscious for like three minutes. Um, and my, my childhood friends have never let me live that one down. I don't think I'm going to let you live that one down. <laughs> okay. I mean, in fairness, the tree was moving. So, you know, it, it jumped in front of me. I'm, I'm sure it was. Okay. Uh, Ryan, what's your favorite subject in school? I always kind of like history. Um, I think that was a, a fun subject for me. It probably also helped that I enjoyed the teachers um, that I had for history classes. Okay. And what's your favorite movie? Since I've been married, I think that our favorite movie has to be Bridesmaids. Um, we just find that to be our go-to. Um, if it's not The Office, uh, watching reruns of that, um, Bridesmaids is probably one of our favorite movies together. Okay. And what is the best piece of advice you've ever been given? I think that one of the pieces of advice that has stuck with me since undergrad um, that my dean of students gave me um, when I started kind of working in housing and also student conduct is that good good people sometimes make poor decisions. Um, and that really kind of resonated with me from my um, younger days in, in high school um, and then also working in student conduct about you know, really taking the heart that although somebody's made a, a poor decision, um, that doesn't mean that that decision defines who they are or, or means that they're a bad person. They're still a good person. They've just just made a, a poor decision at that time. Okay. That's a good, I like that actually, because I think that's definitely true. What is your favorite United States city? So probably the city that I grew up in, uh, which is Moorhead City. Um, just very partial to my hometown, so um, really, really enjoy being back there. Okay, and on a scale of one to ten, how good of a driver are you? <laughs> I would say that I'm a, you know, nine and a half, um, certainly not like a, a Formula One driver, but I feel like that I'm a pretty good driver, um, so I give myself a nine. nine oh. and a half. Okay, um, name a place that you want to travel. Um, we always like to go to Disney World. Um, so, you know, I think that that's probably our next big trip again. Uh, so not one for a, a major traveling type, but when we do, um, it's usually to Disney with the family. Okay. And what's for dinner tonight? Ooh, I think it is hot dogs and burgers on the grill. That sounds good. I think that's yeah. what I'm having for dinner tonight. Our, our little guy really likes hot dogs. So oh. usually offer those up a couple of times a week to him at least. Makes sense. Uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. Um, not, a, not a huge cat person. We do have a dog. His name is Randall. He's an eight-year-old uh, yellow lab. Um, technically a fox red Dudley nose yellow lab. Um, and so we, uh, we rescued him a couple years back now, probably going on four or five years. Um, he's, a, he's a sweetheart. Oh, I love dogs. I'm a dog person too. What is your favorite part about working at WPU? I think that one of the things that I've always said about Peace is the, the people that we get to work with, um, especially, you know, my immediate office um, and then division. Um, we have grown some pretty close relationships amongst one another um, and really gotten to know people um, beyond just the scope of our jobs. Um, I think that it's also, it says something um, just about how much our our faculty, staff, and our students care about one another. Um, I think our small size helps with that dramatically, um, but I think because we can do it, I think that we we do, um, you know, care about one another and get to know one another, and that is, is something I really appreciate. Okay. 
Uh, cake or pie? Ooh, um, probably pie, like key lime pie. It's a good one. I guess. Um, favorite Disney character? Oh, um, I think growing up for me, it was personally uh, Chip and Dale were my favorite. Um, but since uh, my son was born, he has been all about Mickey and Pluto. Um, so that is what is kind of defining our lives and, and world right now. <laughs> okay, what do you think is the most boring thing ever? Hmm. I always struggled with lectures, like coursework and lectures. Um, I know that it's funny, I mean, working out of college, but just having to sit still um, and, and just not having interaction or engagement um, was just always very tough for me. Makes sense. Same. Uh, what is your favorite sport to watch? Um, so for myself personally, it would be auto racing. Um, big Formula One fan. Um, big fan of Mercedes Patronus or AMG Patronus. Um, however, we do watch a lot of baseball and football in our house. My wife is from New England, so by default, um, also a football and uh, baseball fan. Okay. Um, what's one piece of advice you'd give to your students? Hmm. I think it would be, I mean, to really just enjoy time being at college. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed my time at college. Um, it, it just seems like it went by extremely fast. My wife and I, we talk about that a lot. We met in college. Um, and so I think that that's, you know, for us to be able to have a lot of those shared memories together um, and, and to be able to kind of look back on it at times and how we've grown and progressed, um, but just talk about how much fun that we really, we were having before, I guess, like the real world, you know, kicked in as far as like having to go to a job every day and paying bills and going to daycare and all that kind of stuff. Um, not that we would trade it for anything in the world right now, but it was a, a very enjoyable um, four years and, and we really appreciated um, times that we were able to have together in college. I agree. Um, have you ever bo broken a bone? If so, how? Yes. So uh, in college, I broke my scaphoid bone, which is a very, very small bone in your thumb. Um, so I was a physical education and health major um, with K-12 North Carolina certification. Um, and so we were in a PE class in college learning how to be PE teachers. Um, and during a, um, a drill that we had to run, it's called the T-test, um, I hit a wet spot on the gym floor, slipped, and when I did, I stuck my hand out to catch me and it broke my hand. I didn't realize it for 24 hours, but um, eventually one of my, my friends told me we got to we gotta go get an x-ray on that one. So we did. Eek. Okay. <laughs> um, can you fall asleep on a plane? No, I do not like flying. Um, I feel like I would like private flying, you know, on like my own private jet. Um, <laughs> just not there yet financially, but, uh, you know. Um, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of flying. Um, the whole concept of if the, the plane breaks down, I can't just, you know, stop and step out kind of thing. Um, sort of, sort of freaks me out a little bit. Okay, that's fair. How do you take your steak? Um, rare to medium rare. Mm, okay. Yeah. Um, what's a song that gets you pumped up? Hmm. Oh, that one's a tough one. So um, my wife and I, we listen to quite a bit of um, like contemporary Christian music and music that we, we play at our church. Um, so quite a bit of songs by like Hillsong United um, mm -hmm. really is, is what we listen to quite a bit. The Stand is one um, for me that really kind of gets you going. Um, you know, it's more of a, like a um, emotional song than it necessarily is of like, yeah, I can go do this kind of thing. But it really, um, I guess, kind of makes you feel like that you you are saved cool. what is your favorite pizza topping bacon that's also my favorite topping one just about everything else uh, I like bacon pretty good 
<laughs> okay. Um, and then last but not least, are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning person. Um, so I like to, to go ahead and get up and get things started. Um, and then once I start sort of dozing off in the evenings, usually ready to uh, go ahead and call it quits. Okay. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Ryan. As a reminder to all of our current students, you can vote for who you want to be, see featured in the next 21 questions um, by following us on the WPU Student Life Instagram. That's at WPU Student Life. Hope to see you guys soon. Bye, Ryan. Thank you. Bye, Steph. See y'all. See ya.